Oh, this you crazy mother. Hey guys, this is Gus Van Brown. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own boost gauge with an Arduino. I decided to do this because I wanted a boost gauge for my Subaru WRX and the cheapest one that I could find that was decent and was digital was this one on Amazon for $170 and I just couldn't justify spending that much. Um, this boost gauge reads up to about 26 PSI which is way more than I need. Um, you can do even more for not that much more money and it's super accurate to the tenth of a PSI. It also reads manifold pressure so you can tune with it. All right, what you're gonna need is a small I2C serial screen for your Arduino. Um, what these are, they just have four pins, so it's super easy to program and wire up. Um, you can get this one on Amazon for $9, $9, or you can go eBay or AliExpress, but this is the one I've been testing with. The Arduino I'm using is the Arduino Nano or the Arduino Pro Mini. Um, you can also use the Arduino Pro Micro I've tested with. Um, I'm sure there's other ones you can use, but I haven't tested with them. All right, and you guys are going to want to download this INO file for the code for the boost gauge. And you're also going to need a manifold absolute pressure sensor from a car. Um, I'm using one from a Turbo Vegeta. Um, I got it at the junkyard for five bucks. Uh, it's two and a half bars, so that equates to about the 25 PSI that I was talking about. Um, you can find these super cheap anywhere. This one's 40 bucks for like brand new. It's an aftermarket one from Vance. Uh, this is just an example. You don't have to buy this one. All right, to wire this thing up, you're gonna to wanna to plug the screen's ground into the ground on the Arduino, um, the VCC into the five volt of the Arduino. You're going to want to plug the screen's SDA into the Arduino's A4 pin. You're gonna to wanna to plug the SCL pin into the A5 on the Arduino. Also wire your manifold pressures ground into the ground on the Arduino, and also wire the power for the map sensor into the five volt on the Arduino. Lastly, connect your manifold's data pin into the A0 on your Arduino. And all these pins might be different for your Arduino, uh, depending what your I2C configuration is. Um, you can find that easily online though. All right, all you need to do to program this thing is plug in your Arduino. Let's see it, find it. Go to tools and then go to board um, and select which board you're using. I'm using the Pro or the Pro Mini. Right, and then go to processor. Um, mine's it's just the 16 megahertz version. You shouldn't have to worry about this. And then port, uh, mine's COM8. Don't worry about the other ones. And you can go ahead and hit upload. Right, in a few seconds, your Arduino will light up with the screen displaying zero, ideally. All right, if your screen does not say zero or if it's not close to zero, it sh it it'll it should be within like two tenths of a psi. Um, I'm in Denver, Colorado. So that's my atmospheric pressure, it's what it's tuned for. You can change this number right here to figure out what your atmospheric pressure is. Um, I'm not sure if it'll actually make a difference, but if it doesn't read zero, you can go ahead and change this number until it is zero. All right, to show you guys that this actually works, I have rigged up this little jank kind of setup. So I have the map sensor wired in with a T to an actual boost gauge, and then I'm gonna put pressure on it with the tire pump. Um, it's not the most accurate and scientific thing, but it'll definitely give you an idea of how accurate it is. All right, I'm gonna put pressure on it now. All right, as you can see, it's reading 10, 11 PSI, and you can look on the gauge, it's around 10, 10. So it's definitely within one PSI of accuracy. Um, I can't really get any closer than that because of the accuracy of the gauge. So you can get it all the way up to 25. It's really hard to keep up there, but it's really close and it's just as responsive, if not more responsive. Uh, it also shows the peak boost, so if I go up 20-25, it shows 22.72 PSI. Um, it also reads the vacuum, but I obviously can't demo that because I can't really, I don't have a source of vacuum to do it with. To wrap things up, you can get this done in about 20-25 bucks, depending on where you buy things from. You can get the Arduino for about five bucks on AliExpress, the screen for about five bucks, and I got my sensor for five bucks from the junkyard, so that only cost me 15 bucks, but I understand people don't really want to wait that long to wait for parts from China. Let me know if you want me to make an update video on this, like if I end up 3D printing a case for it so it actually fits in a gauge pod, or if I figure out a better way to power it than just the USB port. I'll keep you guys updated. Um, that's it for this video. See you guys next time.